We are now getting our first look at the most up-to-date photos of MLK Day bombing suspect Kevin Harpam. These are Harpam's booking photos taken just a couple of weeks ago when he was arrested near his home in Stevens County. Spokane County released the photos last night in response to a public records request. The bomb that Kevin Harpham is accused of planting created fear in many people who live in Spokane. Yeah, in hopes of stamping out that fear, the NAACP is hosting what it hopes will be a large rally in the arena parking lot this Sunday. And that is where we find KXLY Force Tori Brunetti. And Tori, organizers expect hundreds of people to show up. Yes, hundreds, even thousands. The NAACP national and regional presidents will be here to lead people from the arena parking lot all the way down to Riverfront Park. They say they want people to come out and march in unity to show that racism will not win. The event that happened on January the 17th on Martin Luther King Day, the march that we had, that was a serious event. Experts have said if the bomb placed on the Martin Luther King Jr. parade route exploded, lives would have been lost. For the most part, we know that there's racism here. According to NAACP member Deborah Reed, on January 17th, that racism was in everyone's face. I think we know in our heart that we have a problem. The NAACP solution is community unity. They are hoping people show up with their families Sunday afternoon, ready to set a peaceful example. But Reed says because there is still an element of fear, they have been working closely with law enforcement. We don't want you to be afraid. That's why we're doing this. Um, but we're being cautious because we know there's a lot of evil out there. However, that evil shows itself Sunday. The Spokane Police Department says they are prepared. We know recent events have um, created a, a little bit more cautiousness, and we're going to be there to react to it. Because of officer and participant safety, the police department would not tell us exactly what type of resources or how many they plan to have working Sunday's rally. All they would say is they do have a plan. My ultimate objective is to remind people and encourage them to have faith and trust in their Spokane Police Department. And Reed's objective is to remind people to continue to have faith in our community. I think when it's all said and done, the majority of us want to live in peace. And the rally will start here in the arena parking lot at 3 p.m. on Sunday. Then it will uh, everyone will march down to a riverfront park um, and they'll stay there for another rally. The whole event is expected to last until 6. In Spokane, Tori Brunetti, KXLY4 HD News.